Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Glitchcraft server. So, after the last episode, I went exploring off in that general direction, and I found a slime stuck in a river, just like that guy right there. And uh, it was the king slime, so I killed him, and I got the king slime, what is it? king slime, bond, question mark, question mark, nah, sword. Which is kind of cool. It's a powerful sword. Uh, it had plus 9, then I used it, and I got uh, quartz and plus 11. So it's pretty powerful. And I've just been pretty much killing the slimes when I get the chance. Which will be useful in the future for, like, uh, sticky pistons and such. Though I'm sure there's other things I can use for, or slime balls with. But yeah, once the slimes are in the water, they don't, they can't move as fast. <laughs> so it's fairly easy to kill them without a problem. So that's why I was running towards the uh, lake in the last episode right before I died. Is I was trying to get it to jump into the lake so it gets stuck. And uh, yeah. So yes, I got a brand new slime sword. Whee! And uh, as you can see, I've been... Building a few things in between episodes. I figured building the house isn't very important. Um, plus, I think I made it a little big. Um, I'm working on furnishing it. I'm not there yet. I need metal. Like, I want a grandfather clock, but I need gold to do that. So to do that stuff, I need to either cheat and go back home and get into my stash... Which is a possibility. I'm deciding if I want to allow myself to cheat or not. Or I need to dig into Tinker's Construct. I need to continue in Tinker's Construct. Because as much fun as my flint tools are. Pickaxe, shovel, hatchet. Uh, they don't mine a lot of things. They'll mine copper. They'll mine aluminum. But they won't mine iron or anything else. Which kind of sucks. So... I decided that I'm going to make the forge, the Tinker's Constructs Forge, since I'm basically forced to do it. And uh, I didn't want it hanging loose, just sitting somewhere. I wanted it to look pretty, because that's kind of my goal for this area, is to make everything look as good as I can make it. I know that's a little limiting for me, but or a lim little limited for me. But, you know, I'll do what I can do. So I made a replica of the smithy that I'm going to modify to work with the Tinker's Construct Forge. So I've already been out wandering around getting sand, gravel, and clay. Because you need these three things to create, uh, what's it called, grout? Or something like that? Yeah, grout. So, um, boop. One sand block, clay blo or clay ball, and one gravel block will make two grout. Or if you use a clay block, four sand, and four gravel, you can make eight grout simultaneously. You don't, it's not like more efficient or anything, it just works. So then you just take your grout, you throw it in your furnace, and then you wait like an hour while it very, very slowly cooks. But conveniently for this video, here are a few I prepared before. So I've got some seared brick, not a lot, but it's a starting point. It should be enough to do what I need it to do. I need, I need glass, don't I? Thinking about it, I need glass, hang on. I have glass, it's inside. It's in my house. Come on, click, there we go. Boop. Yes, I'm gonna need a couple of glass blocks. I think. I think I need glass. I know you need it for the seared windows. Eh, about to find out. All right, so seared... Uh, yeah, seared bricks, plural, because this is seared brick, singular, uh, are made with four seared brick, obviously. Uh, let's see, I need a controller. I know that for a fact. So smeltery controller made in a chest shape. Oh, look, I got mighty smel smelting. Uh, what else do I need? I know I need 
one of these guys, the smeltery drain. Boop. I need a seared faucet. I know this. Uh, boop. I'm trying to remember what all I need. Uh, casting table. I need. Is this how I make it? Yes. Seared tank. Uh, and then an ass load of seared brick. Actually, you know what? Let's just do a thing right now. Boop. Get another smeltery drain and get another one of these uh, faucets. So that way I can have both and I can have one of these casting tables and a casting basin simultaneously. Uh, and then everything else can be turned into seared bricks, which I'm going to need a buttload of. That should be enough to start. So let's start modifying our smithy here to fit better. Now, you know how much of a pain in the ass it is to replicate a smithy when you don't have one to visit? Uh, there's a village like a thousand or two thousand blocks in that direction somewhere, and I'm not walking there. And I saw another village around here somewhere. Oh, it's getting to be night. I had to clean up the area. Last night was a blood moon. So I couldn't record first thing in the morning. Um, but yes, do you know how much of a pain in the ass it is to replicate a smithy when the only pictures online are literally from this angle? Whoop. Or from this angle, and that's it? There are no, like, no pictures of a smithy from this angle or back here. So I have no idea if these windows are correct. I just slap them into place. I don't know if they're accurate, but they work for me, and they'll do for what I need them to do. Sleep. Ow. Yeah. Blood moon is rising. There we go. Uh, boop, there we go. I was scratching my face. I have... I don't know what's going on, but I've been sneezing a lot and itching a lot. Um, the cat seems to be shedding, even though it's freezing fucking cold out. And, uh, yeah, it's... The fur is getting everywhere. It's just weird i don't understand it anyways let's get started so what are we going to need to do to retrofit the smithy and i knew i was going to do this but i made it this way you know what i have no idea why i actually made it this way i wanted to make as close of a replica as physically possible i don't have any iron so i can't make the iron bars and i don't have a bucket to make the lava yet and the buckets that i will be using i don't want to waste because they're one use buckets. Anyways, I need a five by five area, kind of. So I need to start cleaning out some of this stuff. So I'm gonna make the smithy in, or the smeltery in the same area that the uh, fake smeltery was in the smithy. So right here, basically. But we're going to have to tear out a lot of it. And this pickaxe isn't terribly fast. It's got reinforcement. Lots and lots of reinforcement. It's reinforced two and has an emerald. That's what I got for leveling it up. But it doesn't have any... Uh, uh, shit. Haste. Doesn't have any redstone. So, yeah. Uh, but we need a 5x5 five five area. So we can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Which means this got to go away. But here we still only have four, so I gotta tear out the wall. Ooh, tear out the wall too. Boop, boop, boop. So the back wall in this place is going to be a uh, black, yeah, black brick. Now I don't have to destroy this, and I technically didn't have to pull this down either. Boop, because I could take my seared brick and start putting it like that. Uh, let's see, tear out the floor so we have a nice short area to work with. That way the smithy's on the ground. Boop, 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 boop. And then boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. Oops. <laughs> it's not what I wanted to do. What I actually want to make do is make this at least too tall. Obviously, eventually, this is going to be three tall. I want it to fill this place. That doesn't... That's not going to look that bad there. I hmm. wonder how far this has gotten. Yes, I need to move my furnace. Not very far. Hmm. 
Maybe I should have made more. Like, a lot more. <laughs> Boop. Let's just build the wall here. And we'll start with the, let's see, where do I want to put this? Let's put the controller there. We'll put the tank here. No, there. Yay. Uh, two smeltery drains here and here. Hmm, that's going to take up a lot of space. What if I put them? No, I don't think I can pull off putting them sideways. So boop and a boop. Boop and boop. All right, so that's most everything I need for this. I just need to wait for the seared bricks to finish cooking. This furnace takes forever, but I have to do it this way because I can't make a redstone furnace yet. How many more do I need? A lot, I'm sure. What, I have two levels back there. No, I have two there, so I need one, two, and three. So I need three more. That means I need 12. 12? Yeah, 12 more brick. Ooh, no, not there. There. Nine. Ugh. Takes too damn long. Uh, yeah, I need to make a uh, redstone furnace. And then I need to make a better redstone furnace because there's apparently levels of redstone furnace you can make now. Didn't know that until I was digging into the all the uh, you know blocks and such. One more. Come on. Is this off timed? No, it's not. Okay. Boop. All right. So that should get me what I need. Boop. I'm thinking ahead of here for a second. Bloop, bloop, and bloop. So the smeltery controller's not active. Hmm. Are you going to be insisting on pointing in this direction? Yes, you are. All right, so because that thing's glowing now, we have a working smeltery, so I can start cooking things, but I need lava first to go in the seared tank. Now, how do I get lava for the seared tank without getting iron for the bucket? I need clay. Put clay in... like that and we get unfired clay buckets oh excuse me i may be getting sick i just had a coughing fit that's unusual for me all right so now i need to cook these clay buckets but of course that thing is in use Ooh, and the cobblestone is out this way everything's all spread out right now i gotta work on that get everything together but that's another goal. Oh, I had cobblestone. God damn it. Ugh. All right. So furnace. I'm just going to plunk you down right here for right now. Uh, buckets. I need coal, which I keep down. No, not down in that hole. Down in this hole. Boop. And eventually we'll get some fired buckets. And then I think I'm just going to cut. I have to go find lava, too, which, if I remember correctly, I found that way. I found a pool of it. But it's pretty far away, so I'm going to, yeah, I'll cut to when I find the lava again. I should have marked it on the map, but, hmm, oh, well. Okay, so that's not the lava source that I was looking for, but it should work. Uh, those uh, are for a volcano. I wonder if I can get close enough to do anything with it or if it's going to be a problem. It looks like a shallow volcano. And, oh shit, the sun's setting. I didn't sleep before I went. Tall, mystical, yellow flower. I don't... Uh, whatever. Shit, I should have slept before I left. <laughs> didn't think. Just kind of ran off. Mm, whatever. All right, so, boop, clay buckets. Wait. No. Ah, you're kidding me. It was one. Oh, and I need an iron level pickaxe to pick up a salt. Bullshit. All right. Well, um, I guess I'm going to continue searching. Uh, 
hopefully not die in the middle of all this insanity that's about to come out. And I'll be right back. Oh, well, what do you know? Still in the volcano. Found some lava. Boop. No, boop. And a boop. And a boop. All right. And I'm hearing nasty things flying around me. But I'm imagining things, apparently. Wee, sheep. Cow. Okay. Um, sheep are good because they give lamb chops, though. I think lamb chops are a little low on saturation. Because I get hungry very quickly with lamb chops. So beef is better. But it's, uh, yeah. Creeper. All right. Uh, well, I filled up on lava, what I have so far anyway. So I will head back home slowly. And I will get back to you again in the morning. I found that pool of lava I was looking for. While I'm here, I think it's what, B? Yes. Lava. Save. There. Now I have a wave point for lava. Yay! Back in the old homestead, and it is morning. And on my way, I found a thing that is going to make Tinker's Construct so much easier. It's these things. Orberry bushes. These are crazy. Uh, basically, they grow ore berries that you can throw into the smeltery, and it turns into liquid iron. So, basically, I can skip all these things and they're from tinker's construct they're they they spawn naturally in the world they're from tinker's construct so this episode is still dedicated 100 percent to tinker's construct yeah mostly i mean there's a little vanilla in there but uh tinker's construct let's see if these are broken that would be a no actually that's awesome we updated, I think I mentioned this before, we updated our mod pack. So we're running on the latest mods for, well, all of our mods. As far as I know, if we're running on all of the latest, uh, Zog takes care of that. I don't take care of that stuff. But uh, it, this mod pack runs so, so much smoother now. I'm not getting the frame lockups. At least I'm not noticing them. Maybe I've gotten used to them, but I doubt it. Um, and it's just runs a lot smoother now it's great i love it okay so what do we need to do well the first thing we need to do we need to get uh ingots bloop, bloop. uh well actually we need to get a lot of things um what do i need to get i need what do i need crap <laughs> it's hard for me to keep track of this stuff did we make no we did not make uh, I have cobblestone, so I need to make a pickaxe head. And making it out of cobblestone should be perfect because you can only use it to make casts. So we throw this in there to make a cast. Boop, just like that. Uh, then we need to cook up something to make a cast. So I need um, aluminum brass. Uh, ba, ba, ba. where, oh, where, oh, where would you be? Uh, molten aluminum brass is made by, not that, combining aluminum and copper. Oh, good, I was worried about that. Uh, 48 millibuckets to 16 millibuckets. What is that, three to one? Yeah, about to find out. All right, so how much aluminum do I have? I have three aluminum gravel, so let's throw the three in there. And it's... I'm thinking it's three to one, so let's find out once these cook up. That's going to take forever. While that's doing that, I'm going to go wander over and empty out my inventory. And I'm going to jump cut because that shit's boring. All right, so there we go. Now we have eight ingots of molten aluminum brass. And if I remember correctly, I think you only need one to make a cast. So if I do this... I now have a cast for a pickaxe head, and I should have seven. 
left. I do. I have seven ingots from aluminum brass. Sweet. So now I can make a whole bunch of casts uh, and have plenty of, you know, yeah, everything. Um, whew, I'm a little confused at the moment. Can you tell? All right. So I have that. How much iron do I get out of 19 ore berries? Well, 18 ore berries, because I have to wait until these cook up. Um, I wonder how much, yeah, I wonder how much iron I get out of that. Uh, while I'm here, how much does this make? This just makes four. Come on, can I reach? No, I cannot. Boop, boop, boop. Um, boop. All right, so two more and I can have the next level. Oh, no, uh, five more and I can have the next level. If I can make enough, how many do I need? Material cost one. So if I can make one ingot of iron, I can make an iron pickaxe head and skip copper and I think tin. Because copper upgrades to tin and I think tin upgrades to iron. So I can skip tin and skip two levels. That's I always like the idea of skipping things in this game. And again, like I said, the iron ore berries are Tinker's Construct, so this is still 100% Tinker's Construct. My goal, my idea anyways, is to... Hey, two ingots. Nice. I am going to leave that ore berry there, because apparently nine ore berries equal one ingot, which I guess makes sense, because then one ore berry would equal one nugget. Yeah. All right, so uh, ba ba ba. So let us put our iron pickaxe head in there. We select our iron. Boop. Bing. I have an iron pickaxe head. Yay! I love skipping stuff. All right, so then what we can do? Uh, I will throw a whole bunch of copper in there. Boop. Yeah, just like that. And then I'll make a copper block, which will allow me to be able to make uh, ingot casts and nugget casts. And it will only cost me um, one and one ninth ingot of copper, which is going to be cool. Uh, what else do I need? I need a chest, which I have enough wood for. Bloop. So I'm going to throw a chest in there because this is going to be the Tinker's Construct Hut from now on. You know, I could put the controller right there. Make No, no, I don't want to put the controller there because I want to be able to automate it so I need a side that I can access. Um, how do I want to do this? Yeah, put that there. That should work. And then we can start putting Tinker's Construct stuff in here for now. And let's move all of this stuff over real quick. Sun's going down again, because it does that a lot in this game. Bloop. And yeah, I want to move the pattern chest. Wait, are the patterns in the pattern chest still? Wow, that's actually kind of cool. I figured it would drop the patterns. All right, so I got a part builder, stencil table. So if I'm doing this right, stencil table there, pattern chest there, then part builder here, and tool station there. That way I can make the stencils, store the stencils, use the stencils, build things, store things. Yeah, that's complicated. Um, let's do this. Again, another slight modification. And then I can put like a crafting bench here. And I don't mean the crafting table. I mean the actual crafting bench. Boop. Like if I use this guy. Where'd he go? There he is. Bloop. Bloop. Though if I was smart. Ah, this is a pain in the ass. Because if I put like say the crafting bench here. I can access the chest that's here inside the crafting bench. If I put it here, I can't. Uh, 
but I'm a little confined on space. What if I do this? Will this work? Boop. Yes. Okay, so now I have access to the chest from the crafting station, and I have space here to you know, move, and it's nighttime again. Bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop. Boop. I don't like dealing with mobs. I'm not ready to deal with mobs, so I kind of don't. Oh, oh, I didn't put away these guys. Bloop. Uh, so... What else do I have? I am going to make my... Yeah, we got 36 copper. 36 divided by 9, that's... 4. So I can make 4 blocks of copper. Wow, this is not fast, is it? I'm so used to everything just kind of being there. We'll get to that point eventually. Boop. Alright, so block of copper turns into nine ingots, which I use one of the ingots with the aluminum brass to make an ingot cast. Then I take another ingot, turn it into nuggets, bloop, to make, uh, yeah, molten aluminum brass, a nugget cast. Yay! I'll put back down the ingot cast. I can make five aluminum brass. I can also make 27 copper and one iron. Save him for the future. All right, but uh, from this point, I'm going to empty out my forge because I like keeping my forge nice and clean because I haven't memorized how all the metals mix together so I don't want to accidentally mix metals together when I don't need to or want to. So I'm going to empty out my forge. I'm going to make an iron pickaxe. I did leave that in the chest in here. Yes, yes, I did. Okay. Uh, make an iron pickaxe, which we've already seen. Then I'm going to level up the iron pickaxe and gather up a whole bunch of shit. So I will see you guys in the next episode. And I'll say, as always, keep playing the game and have fun.